Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen. I'm back for part two of gardening without water watering. Um, I am wanting to fill everyone in on what we are doing here because my first video that I did, I did without any voice. I just started to get into actually talking on these videos so I figured I would tell you a little bit about what we're doing with this um, it all started with my brother Robert who I mentioned in my other videos with condensation the condensation experiment um, he's not able to read and he likes to garden so he asked me if I'd help him out so I just figured I would do it and we got together and started doing the gardening and I started doing the videos and now I'm telling you guys what we're doing <laughs> but uh basically what it is is uh Robert my brother he came up with the idea of gardening without having to water plants off of the condensation if you put a plastic bag or put plastic over the pot and uh, let the condensation build up from the plastic according to what he's seen on the internet he wanted he uh, figured he'd give it a try so I figured I would do it too so we uh, are using some suggestions that we found on the internet and we're putting them to use plus we're using our own little twist let me start from the beginning. Uh, we had a tomato plant that actually grew up and it got to a pretty good size. We have a tree that I'm not sure of what it is that's uh, gotten to a pretty good size for being a small tree. And that is about all that we've had that's actually grown pretty good from it. Um, we took the small tree and we covered it with plastic and it builds condensation inside of it and we did the same thing with the tomato plant in the beginning and it grew up to the point where we had to use one of those uh, like metal shrouds that go around the the plant but at first what we did is we turned it upside down and made it into a cone and it was able to produce condensation that way but the plant eventually got to the point where it was too big for that so I had to flip it over keep the plastic on there and just kind of stab it down into the soil around the, the tomato plant well after that happened we had a small tomato plant that started growing and a, another little plant that I had no clue what it was uh, start growing in there and we transplanted them but they died um, the one that was the little plant it ended up dying inside of one of the planters with plastic over it and we aren't really sure why it died it might have been a different plant is what I'm guessing um, this plant that is actually growing under the plastic seems to be doing good like it's good with that type of dry hot environment it's in the middle of July so the temperatures have started going up and I'm starting to wonder if maybe it has to do with the temperature and the humidity that's causing the differences because we started in June and the plants were doing pretty good uh, the plant that you see that's got the orange and green and everything on it that one was never covered in any kind of plastic that was actually my mom's Mother's Day pre a present given to her by her grandkids and it wasn't doing too good inside of the house because she wasn't able to take care of it she's elderly and she has to be in a wheelchair because she can't walk very well so me and my brother took the plant and we brought it into the backyard and started taking care of it and so far it's been doing pretty good it's uh, actually gotten bigger we had to transplant it from the original black container into another blue one 
and what we did there is we took grass clippings that we had inside of an aluminum pot sitting and we put it underneath the soil that was originally in the pot and then around it to where it has the grass clippings around it for compost basically and we started putting water in there and it's been doing pretty good so far it's getting bigger um, we had well my brother he had uh, a couple of things that he was wanting to do uh, before when I uh, started with him we used a bigger like wooden planter and covered it with plastic and I was wanting to see how good the, or I had topsoil inside of it too, and, and we put plastic over the top with a guard, and I wanted to see how good the uh, condensation built it up, built up on it for a month, and it was did a really really good job. So after that, what I did is my brother had uh, little plastic containers that I'm showing and I'll be showing in the video of. Um, seeds that he put on egg crates that comes in the egg cartons and he put a thin layer of topsoil on it with the seeds to see if inside of these plastic containers if it would gather condensation and, and it would help it grow with just that little bit of soil and me at first I, I, I never thought it would work but it, it was worth doing you know because if I, I've never done it so it might work you know so we gave it a try and it didn't work so I took half of the plants from those containers and I stuck it in the big pot or a planter that I had covered with plastic to check that out and uh, I'm waiting now it's been a week and a half roughly and I'm gonna wait a couple more days and then check that find out if they're gonna grow in there because I've noticed there's heat underneath that and I want to see if it affects it and what grows and what doesn't grow after that I took the rest of the seeds <laughs> and I uh, took them out of what he had rigged up and I took one of the plastic containers and I took sponges and stuck it inside of the container and I put the seeds around the edges of the sponges like what you learn in, in elementary school when it comes to planting seeds I just did that but with the sponges and I filled it up with water and I covered or I closed the plastic container so that it can do the humidity thing and now I'm waiting on that see how that turns out it's, on, it's only been doing that for about three days now and I hope that does work out I also took little plastic cups and I did the same concept, but I used toilet paper with water and then put the seeds on the edges of the glass to where I could see the seeds and watch the seeds. Instead of leaving those out here where it's hot and humid, I took them inside, put them in the kitchen on the windowsill to see if there's a difference in temperature, if uh, the temperature inside helps with the seeds growing rather than out here where it's hot and humid but even with that one it's got water inside of it so I'm hoping that it will help keep the seeds cool um, we also had an incident with my experiment on condensation too I've been taking grass clippings and putting them in an aluminum pot and I did that and one of them ended up tearing so we took one of the Ziploc baggies of uh, grass clippings out and set it underneath the bench for about a week and during that week it uh, collected mildew well we took the grass clippings from that and put it in the bottom of a planter and then put topsoil over the top and that's where we put the the uh, tomato plant that we found the baby one in and it, it ended up dying well the other day when I was transplanting those seeds that I was telling you about that was on those egg uh, plant, uh, 
egg crate things inside of egg cartons. And when I was transplanting it, I took the dirt that was in there and I just threw it inside of that and it had wood chips that my brother had stuck in with the topsoil. And we're thinking that the wood chips actually activated that fungus down in the grass clippings because all of a sudden these mushrooms started popping up. I mean, it was fast. This morning, there was huge stems growing up out of the planter. But last night, they were just poking up off the surface of the, the topsoil. You could just barely see the tips of them. And today, they were, I'd say, a good foot. I'd say a good foot, foot high. We uh, filmed it, and we're going to put it in our next condensation experiment as video footage. But after we did that, I moved the planter over to the edge right near the sun and I believe that the sun finally it did it in they just kind of shriveled up and I've got video footage of that too so if you guys want to check that out when I come out with part three to condensation experiment my condensation experiment you can see it I didn't put it on this one um, I mentioned too that we're getting a drone and we got a drone in but it turned out to be a really really horrible disaster uh, we were expecting one to come in that had a, a camera on it and it didn't have a camera we did a test drive on it and it it was horrible um, if you're not a experienced uh, remote control helicopter drone flyer then you don't want to buy the one that I want. I'm going to put a review up on it and show videos about what it looked like and everything. But we ended up just going ahead and calling back up and getting uh, an, another model to come out. And it'll be out here before long. But that one was just a horrible disaster and we had to send it back. Um, we're getting another one that's coming from China for like 14 bucks and we're going to see how that one works. If it's like the one before, we'll just use that one for testing, you know, for practice and the way we become better at flying and then use the one with the camera for when we want to take footage. But, uh, yeah, that, that didn't work out well. And we're going to get uh, microphones to where we won't have to worry about sound. I tried to work around and see if I could do uh, feed and everything on uh, this iPad through YouTube gaming and it didn't work out too well so I'll be doing a, another review on that and showing everybody about that it, it just turned out to be a bad mistake these iPads aren't really good for video when it comes to YouTube but uh, I have video that will be coming up it should be in this video about the drone and what it looked like and then I'm going to put out a review on the drone and I'm also going to do a review on the the mic system that we're getting it looks like it's pretty good so with that I'm coming to the end of my 15 minutes so I'm going to get off of here it's already starting to rain and I'm sitting on the back porch I hope you guys enjoy your day if you like this video and you like what you hear please like subscribe and share thank you